WBC. Stephen A., should Cane what should Canelo do now? Well, first of all, the big fight that's out there is Triple G. And let me give uh, Canelo Alvarez props. I mean, it was one punch and it was over. He put him to sleep. Thinking, you know, yeah, I mean, Canelo walked over, got on his knees to look, make sure the dude was all right. And, you know, folks standing over Amir Khan, waving the towel to, like, you know, give him some air or whatever. It was a KO in every sense of the word. That kind of knockout power uh, is something to behold. There's no doubt about that. And then to call Triple G into the ring after and to basically talk about we don't mess around. I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, of course. And, you know, in Mexico, we, we, we come to fight. We don't worry about titles or whatever. We, we come to fight. Um, I, I got a lot of respect for Canelo Alvarez for taking that stance, for taking that position. I hope that Oscar De La Hoya was true to his tweet when he told Triple G to make sure to answer his phone the following morning. I got to check, check with my man Dan Rayfield to find out if Oscar De La Hoya indeed picked up the phone to call Triple G to try to make this match because that's the epic matchup right there. I don't know how advisable it will be for Canelo. To, to have Triple G as his next opponent because I still wouldn't pick him to beat Triple G as, as, as awesome as Canelo was, but I knew Amir Khan had a glass jaw, so it was what it was. But I would tell you this, the fight that he should have next is against Triple G, but I also want to point out, Skip Bayless, that if indeed it were to be a rematch against Floyd Money Mayweather, I still believe it would be a bigger fight than Floyd Money Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that Triple G, uh, that Canelo should fight Floyd ahead of Triple G. I'm saying that for those who want to look at Mayweather, and we'll touch on Mayweather a little bit later, I think that Pacquiao should not be the focus that everybody wants for Floyd Money Mayweather having a rematch. I think it should be Canelo Alvarez. That would be me. But if you're Canelo Alvarez, in terms of who you should fight next, it should be Triple G. And that would make for an epic fight because Canelo, as great as he is, still has trouble with speed and guys who are defensive wizards like Floyd Money Mayweather. That's only lost on his career. Amir Khan, like I told everybody before the fight, is no Floyd Money Mayweather. He can box. He's got speed. But he doesn't have the boxing skills, particularly defensively, that Floyd Money Mayweather has. And that's why he got caught in the sixth round, because he doesn't have that kind of ability. And he, went, he walked into the ring against the bigger man that, he, that just, in the end, overwhelmed him. I say Canelo, Triple G, that is a mega fight. Uh, for the ages, Skip Bayless, it's it's tantamount to Hearns Hagler, something like that, Skip. It, it's it's a mega mega fight. That's the one that should be next for Canelo. I agree with every point you made, except your conclusion, your takeaway that it has to be Triple G mega 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 fight next. I'm not seeing it. Now I'm going to go back through your points. I I'm going to hark back to what you said to open the show. You didn't give the Cavs much credit because it was the Pistons and the Hawks they were playing against. So I'm not okay. going to give similar credit to Canelo because you slipped in the fact, to me, Amir Khan has always had a glass jaw. He can box a little bit. He's, he's got a little shake and bake to him. We know all that. But when it was time, when he got caught, he went, he dropped like a pile of rocks and, and he was gone man because we've seen this happen Danny Garcia dropped him it was a, a technical knockout but some dude named Prescott knocked him out earlier in his yep. career okay yeah, 2008 so, yeah yep all right so now we're back to you you already went on record you said man you wouldn't give Canelo much of a shot against Triple G I would not either so if you're managing Canelo right now and he is your cash cow and you've got it set up where you, you can have a couple of fights before the mega fight to keep your cash cow upright and, and keep him hot, keep, keep the interest soaring about Canelo, why would you just jump right into a fight with a guy that you're pretty sure he can't beat in Triple G? I, I wouldn't. I, you, you've still got Keith Thurman. You, you've got Garcia I just mentioned. You've got Kel. Uh, Brooke, you know, you, you got these, these guys are out there with great well, records. Why wouldn't you go ahead and do a couple of those fights? Why wouldn't you take them me, now? Just make them make them catch weight payday fights for Canelo. Let, let me chime in here, Skip, because <clears throat> Canelo is a bigger and stronger guy. He's not a welterweight. He's literally 
a middleweight. He fights at the catchweight of 155. Yep. But one of the reasons why Triple G, who came on my radio show on Mad Dog Sports Radio a few, a few months ago, literally sat next to me and talked about the catchweight that he would do for Floyd, but insisted he wouldn't do it for Canelo. Right. I asked why. He said Floyd is a naturally smaller guy. So I understand why he wouldn't fight at middleweight. Canelo is a middleweight trying to walk around like he's less than a middleweight. than a middleweight. Yep. And he says, I'm not going to I'm not going to go for that. OK, so that's his point. You also got to take into account style, Skip. Triple G ain't running. Triple G doesn't believe he's the smaller guy that could barely hurt Canelo like Amir Khan thought. So I've got to beat him with my speed and boxing ability and pray that I don't get caught. Triple G is the dude that 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 will be coming at Canelo and Canelo to his credit, because even though I don't give I don't pick I wouldn't I, I wouldn't say I don't give him a chance. I just would fit favor Triple G. I would pick Triple G. But Canelo has power. He can box. And I've seen him take a punch and he's got heart. So all of those requisite skills necessary make for a mega fight. I don't believe that anybody in the welterweight division that you mentioned outside of Floyd can beat Canelo because they're looking to come at Canelo to hurt Canelo, whereas Floyd is looking to box him and move and make him miss. These dudes are going to come trying to hurt Canelo, and I don't think they'll be able to do it as much as he'll be able to hurt them. The smaller guys, the Keith Thurmans of the world, the Cal Brooks of the yep. world, the Errol Spencers of the world. Errol Spence is special, by the way. Yep. But the, the, all of these guys, they're relatively smaller, which is why Amir Khan talked about moving back down to his natural weight of 147. As an aside, I don't know what the hell was going on with Virgil Hill and that trainer of his calling Canelo out to fight Triple G. I'm like, what personal interest? I applauded Max Kellerman for asking him that question. What business is it of yours, yep. essentially? Why is it so important to you that Canelo fight Triple G? I, I don't understand that stuff. But in the end, what it comes down to is that because of Triple G's style and Canelo's style, you're going to get a fight. It's not going to be a boxing match. You're going to get a fight. And I think that that's beautiful. And I applaud both of them if it ends up happening. Because, Skip, it doesn't hurt Canelo if he loses to Triple G. It doesn't hurt him at all. He no, just, I don't he know just, about that. No, no, because remember, Triple G, he's fighting at 155, catch weight. He's fought at 147 before. The 160-pound title, if you lose to Triple G, well, then you just ain't the middleweight champion anymore. Yeah. But the junior middleweight and the super welterweight, that's still you still reign supreme over there. And I think that that's why it doesn't hurt Canelo as much as people think. Okay, but Canelo has been notorious for getting just barely down to that catch weight 155 and then hydrating back up on fight night to 170, right? I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. he, he's a big kid already. And when he rehydrates, weight-wise, he, he, can, he can hold his own with Triple G. Fight-wise, I don't think he can. So if he loses to Triple G and he already lost to Floyd, I, I just think he would lose a lot of luster pretty early in his career. So I'm not sure it's, that, that they'd be ready to do that. And well, if you do Floyd again, I would call it, I, I would make the, the theme of the fight back to school for Canelo because he just go, Floyd would school him again. Yeah, it, yeah, he says Floyd would school him again. He's yeah. too slow. He's too slow for Floyd. Yeah. He wouldn't catch Floyd that way. That's true. But I would tell you this. It, a lot of it depends. You could be right, Skip, if he were to walk in the ring and get slaughtered by Triple G. Yep. Get slaughtered. Like, 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 like he slaughtered James, like Canelo slaughtered James Kirkland, for yep. example. I got it. Okay? If he did something like that to Canelo, then you would have a point. But what if he walked up in that ring yep. and it was a hell of a fight, but he loses, whether it's TKO, KO, or decision. But it was a hell of a fight, and then he just gets caught. I don't know if his luster diminishes that way because you've got plenty of guys. I mean, look, man, you think about some of the great, great fighters in, 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 in you know, in, in, in Latino history. Yep. I, I just don't I just don't see it. I mean, there are very few guys that are undefeated. It's not about whether you win or lose all the time. It's about how you go down. And if you go down like a warrior, I, I don't think you lose luster. 
when you go, when you lose to an elite guy like a Triple G. Not to mention the fact that some people think that Triple G hasn't really fought anybody. Yeah. So they, they, they're like you sleeping on you sleeping on Canelo because Canelo may very Canelo has been in, in the ring with better competition than Triple G. I yeah. just think Triple G is going to be too strong, but that's me. No, I am with you. Too strong, and it, if he got pounded, Canelo. Then, then it would be tough to sell a rematch between those two, even though you know they would fight again, and maybe there would be a trilogy of fights. Th that, those are the mega fights left out there. I, I'm with you, although I still say there's a Floyd Pacquiao fight to be had here. It's a Floyd Pacquiao fight to be had, and we wouldn't mind that. But when you see Canelo knocking out everybody within that weight class, then you have to say that he's more appealing yeah, than I Pacquiao because Pacquiao wasn't knocking people out. And that's, I, just, I just think that that's really the way that you have to look at it. But again, you know, you know, listen, I applaud both guys because what they really spoke to was the fact that boxing has stalled for too long holding off fighters fighting one another when the public wants to see them most. Yeah. And I appreciate the fact that it's become a priority, it appears anyway, to Golden Boy Promotions and others to give people fights that they want to see when they want to see them as opposed to year la years later. Because to me, that's the way that it should be. We shouldn't have to wait years to see guys in their prime. Yep, I agree. No question. But well, we'll find out quickly. If he yes. puts his money where his mouth is, well, or Oscar, was on Oscar, Saturday night. Oscar is on Oscar De La Hoya and yep. Canelo, because Canelo called Triple G into the ring. Yeah. And Oscar tweeted, answer your phone tomorrow, Triple mm -hmm. G. So to me, Dan Rayfield and those boys, they need. I need to find out if, if Golden Boy really, if Oscar De La Hoya really made that call to Triple G. And is this coming down the pike like September? That's what I need to see. Yep. All right. When we come back, after Damian Lillard led the Trailblazers to a Game 3 win over the Warriors, he had a message for our Skip Bayless. Skip will respond to that when we come back. Don't miss it.